What is up everybody? Welcome to the Game Night YouTube channel. Dudes, it is finally time guys. I have received a box from the Game Crafter and dudes, it is time to open Tin Realm by Jason Glover of Grey Gnome Games. I am so freaking excited right now, dudes. I've been waiting months for this. Let's go ahead and get this box cut open, dude. And we're gonna see what we're getting in here. I'm pretty sure I've got the game and the mat in here. Go ahead and get this box opened up. Side cut over here. Dude, oh my god, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. It's like Christmas. Christmas has come early, dudes. All right, let's see what we got in here. Oh, dude, we got a lot of paper. Get all the paper out of here. Get that out of here. Oh my gosh, dude, look at this. Check it out, dudes. We got a big old box. Let's get the box out the way. There we go. Oh my gosh. We made a mess on the table. Let's get all this off of here. Dude, check it out, dudes. Check it out. The Tin Realm playmat right here. Dude, it's beautiful. It's very subtle. It is really subtle, like where the cards go. You can even see it. <laughs> it's very, very subtle. That is awesome, man. Love the artwork on here. Nice. I think this is called a crawl bone. It's like a new enemy in the game. You got all your stat trackers up here. This is new. This looks like a daytime tracker or something. Ooh, that's pretty cool. You got your favor. You got your energy, your food, and your health. That's very familiar from Tin Helm. Cool stuff. And then you got the Tin Realm logo down here with a sword. Dude, that looks awesome. And then right here, we got the main thing right here, dude. We got the game itself. Oh my gosh, it's so cool, man. There it is, bros. Tin Realm, a solo journey back home. Dude, designed and illustrated by Jason Glover. Amazing, dude. Tin Series Volume 6 right here. So so cool, man. All right, we're going to go ahead and bust this thing open, dudes. I'm so excited to get into this and see what we're going to get inside of here. I've been keeping up with the progress on the game, so I'm aware of some of this stuff. But, man, just to see it in person is going to be amazing. Here it is, dude. So cool. Awesome. It says, the Brotherhood of the Red Cloth has been restored to their former selves. Okay, thanks to your grit and keen skill. Now you must traverse the Overland and make your way to the city of Oaken's Helm, there you will find refuge. However, as soon as you step foot out of the dark and into daylight, you soon realize your adventure has really only just begun. Cool stuff, dudes. Of course, it is one player. It is a solo game, ages 12 and up. It takes about 30 minutes to play, and it comes in this amazing little mint tin right here. This tiny little tin. Here we go, dudes. Let's crack it open. It's like opening a treasure chest. What is the loot inside? Very cool. So we get a little mini deck of cards. We got some little components here. We have Two six-sided dice right here, and a bunch of little colorful cubes right here. Let's take those out. Cool, got a few of those. There's also like a little red meeple that you're going to use to keep track of where you are in the game. And there's a set of mint tin size cards in here as well. And they are all mixed up, and we're going to have to go through those. Oh my gosh, I am seeing... I'm seeing stuff for Dust Runner that is super, super exciting. Okay, guys, I'm going to get these uh, all sorted out, and then we'll go through what you get in the tin. All right, dudes, I've got everything all sorted out here, and I'll show you exactly what you're going to get in Tin Realm. So we're going to start out with the bigger mint tin size cards up this way. So you get four of these location cards right here that are double-sided. You've got the Oak Warden, the Campsite, the Grove, Water... You've also got the Wanderer, Crossroads, Altar, and the Labyrinth. Some of these might sound familiar, and there's some new ones in here too. If you're familiar with Tin Helm or Iron Helm, uh, yeah, some of these locations might sound familiar to you. So we've got some, um, some familiar locations and some brand new ones in here to spice things up. Also, I should mention too that I'm pretty sure most of the stuff in here, um, or at least the characters in the game, can be used also in Tin Helm and vice versa. You can use the characters from Tin Helm in Tin Realm, if I'm not mistaken. So that's really, really cool. You've got a bunch of extra characters that you can add to the game. Uh, but in Tin Realm, it adds three new characters to the game. You've got the Wood Elf, the Dwarf, and the Dweller as your races. And then on the back, you have three new classes. You've got the Sentinel, the Ranger, and the Hedge Mage. So as mentioned, you can use these in Tin Helm also, which is really cool stuff. So three brand new races and classes. It also comes with these four map cards right here, and I'm fairly certain that these are going to be um, what creates the map that you're traversing as you're going over the overworld in Tin Realm, and these are also double-sided. So 
uh, the map can change among games from one game to the next, which is really cool stuff. It also comes with some tracker cards. Now, um, if you buy just the game itself without the mat, you'll have these tracker cards to track all of your stuff. But if you get the play mat, then it's got all of that already laid out on the play mat for you. And on the back of these cards, it just has like a little map, just a little picture. Um, so I guess you can kind of see what some of the locations in the game are called just to build the lore of the game, which is pretty neat and kind of immerse you into the game. It also comes with a stack of instruction cards. There are a bunch of them. I believe there are 10. Yeah, there's 10 instruction cards that are double sided and it's got all of the information about how to play the game right there on those. It also comes with some promotional cards. So the ones I'm most excited about are these right here, dudes. It comes with some new cars for Dust Runner, which is amazing. I'm super excited to try these out. I think they actually make the game a little bit harder, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm I'm very interested to try those out for sure in uh, some future Dust Runner playthroughs. It also comes with a promo card for the game Dragon Spark. Um, I'm fairly certain I pre-ordered this game, still waiting for it to come in. Uh, and it's got Grimwald, who is uh, the dude on the front of the Iron Helm box. So that's pretty cool that Grimwald has jumped universes into another game and it comes with a promo card for Dragon Sparks. That's cool stuff. It also comes with these little mini cards down this way. It comes with three brand new trapping cards, which are double sided as well. You get the amulet, the iron helm, the short bow, and if you flip them over, you have the staff, the raven, interesting, and the broad sword. So there you go. Those are your three new trappings cards. I guess six new trappings in total. Then you've also got a little deck of loot cards right here. There are eight of these loot cards, and we'll go through them. You get a cleaver, a trail map, an antidote, the sun's edge, that's a cool name, smoke dust, tree heart, interesting, elixir, and pipe weed. I like the sound of that. So you get eight of these little loot cards right here, cool stuff. You also get nine new enemy cards in Tin Realm. Let's check those out. There's a dire wolf, that's pretty cool. The Brigand, or Brigand, I'm not too sure how you pronounce that. Uh, the Bone Stalker, that's cool. Ooh, I like that. The Death Mage, dude, that's sick. You got the Blood Cap. Dude, these are super cool, man. I love that one, too. Dark Rats, Dark Rats had to make a comeback, of course. The Bane Spider, the Crawlbone, that's super cool. That's the dude on the mat over here. And the Skullum, ooh. Dude, I love how it's a bunch of, like, undead-looking guys, like skeleton guys and stuff. That is really cool. Heck yeah, dude. So those are all the new enemy cards right there. And then it also comes with this deck of, I guess these are sort of like location cards. This is similar to um, in Tin Helm, where you're going to have um, these little symbols down here that will pertain to, you know, outcomes on the back of the card. So if you're familiar with Tin Helm, then uh, this is going to look familiar to you. But there's also like a new mechanic where it's got a symbol on each side of the card. And as you're moving through the game, you're trying to match up these symbols. So yeah, we'll get to that in a future video when I'm doing a tutorial and playthrough. But yeah, guys, that's all the stuff that you get inside of the tin. Also, as mentioned, you get the two dice, you get the little meeple, you get a couple of red cubes, an orange, green, yellow, blue, and clear cube. I'm assuming to track all your stuff over here on the tracker. And that's it, guys. That's what you get inside a tin realm. And dudes, I am so excited to start playing this game and pumping out some playthroughs of the game. And like I said, there's going to be a tutorial coming very soon. So be on the lookout for that. But anyways, dudes, get hyped with me, dude. Tin Realm is finally here and uh, I can't wait to play, dude. It's going to be amazing. So dudes, if you like this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up like button, click the red subscribe button and click the bell icon so you can stay notified every time I upload brand new videos to the channel and more Tin Realm is coming very, very soon. So be on the lookout. Hey guys, until next time, have a good one and I'll see you guys in the next video.